In this video, we are showing you two solutions for solving Mission 12 called Water Reservoir for this year's FLL Super Powered Robot Game. One with the Spike Prime and one with the EV3. In this mission, points are awarded for each looped water unit that is either placed completely in the water reservoir and touches the mat, or, for more points, hangs off of a single red hook. Both of our solutions show you how to get the maximum points in this mission. For our Spike Prime solution, we have built two attachments, a comb-like axle attachment that we hang out in front of the bumper of the Spike Prime to collect the looped water units, and a hinged bar attachment with prongs that loosely hold the water units during transportation. Our Spike Prime robot launches from the left red launch area and circles clockwise around the water reservoir to collect the three looped water units and bring them back to the launch area. There, a technician repositions the robot and places two of the water units with the loops sticking out almost horizontally on the front of the bar attachment. The third water unit is placed on the red hook of the attachment. On the press of a button, the robot launches a second time to approach the water reservoir from the north end, directly facing the red hooks on the hydroelectric dam. The bar attachment is long enough so that the loops reach across the red hooks. Then, the robot lowers the attachment, the hinge flips over, dropping the water units, but the loops catch on the red hooks of the mission model. The third water unit slides off its hook and onto the mat inside the water reservoir. Our EV3 also uses two different attachments to solve this mission. The first one is a modified bumper with additional angled beams to collect the water units, and the second one is a slightly modified base bar attachment with two long and one short axle arms sticking out of the front. The long axle arms are a little bit wider apart from each other than the two red hooks on the mission model. Like our Spike Prime, our EV3 circles clockwise around the water reservoir to collect the three looped water units with its bumper attachment. Back in the home area, the technician then hangs the three water units onto the hooks of the bar attachment and repositions the robot. The robot then approaches the mission model from the north and reaches across the water reservoir with two long axle arms slightly raised above the red hooks. To hang the looped water units onto the hook, the robot slightly lowers its attachment and then drives backwards to pull them out. As the attachment is lowered, the third water unit falls off its hook and onto the mat inside the water reservoir circle. For solving this mission, you earn 10 points for each hook that has a looped water unit hanging off of it at the end of the match. Since there are only two red hooks, the maximum points that can be scored here is 20 points. Do not hang all three units onto the hooks, or more than one unit per hook, as only one unit scores per hook. Five points are awarded for each looped water unit that is completely in the water reservoir and touching the mat at the end of the match. According to the rules, the loop of the water unit is allowed to hang over the edge of the water reservoir to score points. Only the container portion needs to be completely in. The maximum points you can earn here is 15 points if you drop all three water units into the water reservoir. But since we hung two of the units onto the hooks already, we only had one water unit left to score with. With our solution, we achieved the maximum points for this mission, which is 25 possible points.